What's up, YouTube? Hey, back with another video. And um, today is a random day, man. Just woke up this morning and was like, let me find a trail that I haven't hit yet. And I've been seeing this one online for a while and I just decided to drive out here and um, to Volusia County and check out Chuck Lennon Trail. I love I love that name, and Chuck has always been a funny name to me, so I think that's the coolest name ever, Chuck Lennon. I don't know the background of Chuck Lennon, I don't know who Chuck Lennon is, so maybe I'll do some research on that, find out what's going on with him, and why this trail or park was named after Chuck Lennon. So yeah, today um, I'm gonna hit this trail, see what's going on, I don't really know too much about it, I know there's different like seven or eight different trails that, that kind of break off from the main trail or something. So that's pretty much all I know. And um, I did pick the wrong time of day. It is 12 o'clock and right now it is showing a good 90 degrees outside and it's only gonna get hotter. It's supposed to be 96 today. So why am I even doing this? I don't know, but I said, hey, let me bring you guys another trail, another video. Um, so today I am filming on my Sony FX3000 camera. Um, I, did, I left the GoPro at home today, so um, this was the camera that I've always initially used. I didn't get my MacBook yet, so the GoPro is giving me some issues with the editing software that I have. I have Adobe. Um, I need a really good editing software. If anyone knows, please comment that it's compatible with GoPro 7s or GoPro 6s. Um, if people don't know, the GoPro cameras actually use a, a different type of format that when you try to edit it, um, I usually have to use a third party software like Handbrake or something to convert it into a normal file that most editing softwares can read and, and you can use. So um, Max, I hear you don't have to do all of that. And so that's why I hear it's better to do it on those. But until I buy my new Mac, I'm just gonna have to gonna have to hold out for a minute on the GoPro footage, which is actually really good footage. It's just converting it and editing it the right way is the issue that I'm having. So sticking with the Sony today and um, and yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this trail. I always like going on new trails that I haven't been on. And so um, so we'll see what, what today brings. I see you guys on the trail. I'll do my review and final thoughts after after the ride. So
Oh yeah.
Man, fuck an alligator come out here, yo. I'm done. Ah. for about an hour at Chuck Lennon Trails. And uh, let me tell y'all something, man. Mountain biking is a production. Like, to do everything that you need to do, to pack up, even on a last minute trip, you gotta make sure you eat breakfast. You gotta get your, get your gear ready. You gotta make sure you pack all your gear, which is so much stuff, especially if you're <laughs> doing YouTube videos and recording and editing. Then you gotta make sure you got everything as far as any type of snacks you may be taking, your water, all your camera gear, your helmet, headphones, shin guards, protection, proper shoes, proper socks. You gotta make sure your wardrobe is appropriate for the weather. Then you gotta make sure you put on your bike rack. Then you gotta, it's just a lot, man. It's a lot that goes into this thing right here. If you guys are just getting into this sport, let me assure you, it's not just an easy up and go type situation. But anyway, that's my little rant. I'm just kind of tired and hot. It's 90. Oh my God, my truck says 102. 102 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I don't know if that's true or not, but it, it feels like it. So, my review and thoughts of this trail, this part. So, of course, my luck. It hasn't rained in a few days here, but Every single trail is blocked off, they said, due to mud and water and rain and flooding. Except for what I'm assuming is the main trail. Which is not at the entrance where you park, but a little bit further up. So, the cool thing about this trail is, at least from what I saw, I do understand that there's other trails that were blocked off. But the main trail has little side trails that you can go on for more difficulty but when you do that little side trail it puts you back on the main trail so I like that that's the, I think that's the first time I've seen that actually happen um, on any trail that I've been on I haven't seen intermediate and difficult trails that intertwine back onto the one main trail I wish all parks were like that that way you can kind of choose your difficulty but yet Whichever one you do, you stay on the main part of it. Because when you go to a park and they got like 20 trails that just go all different types of ways, it's just so easy to get lost. And even though it's cool, because you know, those trails have a lot more technical difficulties to them, um, it would just be nice if somehow, some way, shape or form, they could all connect to one big trail. But anyway, that's what I liked about it also thought that was pretty cool you can catch a lot of speed on this trail um, the first go round with the camera and the video recording that I was doing took me 40 minutes to do the, the main trail and I did the um, the difficult 
side trails. I went back and redid it again, all easy to intermediate trails, none of the hard ones the second time, and finished it in about 20 minutes, in about half the time. But I didn't stop and go, it was just straight, full speed on. So, um, looks like the main trail is pretty short. It's about three more trails off to where you park at that are all blocked off. I don't, I don't know what those are about or, or how difficult those are. They said they're more extreme and difficult, so I guess I have to come out here when there's like a, a dry spurt going on in the, in the, in the state and, and so I can catch some of these other trails. So anyway, I know I'm sorry I'm in the days. When I'm drained like this and the heat just gets me, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, but it's just like I'm zoned out because all my energy is exhausted right now and I ate breakfast and it's all gone at this point in time. Um, what I didn't like about it, uh, Oh, another cool thing before I go into the dislikes. A lot of butterflies out here. I haven't seen too many trails with this many butterflies. And what's cool is some of the butterflies were like literally flying right next to me as I was riding as if like they were like along for the ride or something. I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. I haven't seen a trail with this many butterflies in it. With that being said, I also never seen a trail with this many mosquitoes. Oh my god. Listen, the first stop that I did to get my camera angle right, I stopped, I put it on, on, on pause. There had to be like mosquitoes on standby, like just waiting for a piece of meat to come by to just attack. They were swarming all around me and biting my legs, left any space they could find that wasn't covered by my shin guards and my shorts, they were like trying to find. There had to be like mosquitoes sitting on the bench, like just just waiting for anything to come by. It could have been, could have been a caterpillar, caterpillar crawling by. I'm sure they would have bit that damn thing. And these mosquitoes are huge. These are some huge mosquitoes out here. I, I guess it's because of the water that's been sitting, because there was a couple of parts of it where there was a lot of water that had gathered. But this had this park right here has the most mosquitoes that I have ever seen. And these mosquitoes were just waiting to attack. I felt about three bites on my legs, but I'm sure I got bit other places and didn't even feel it. And tomorrow I'm gonna have like 20 damn mosquito bites. I'm gonna be itching like crazy tomorrow. Be prepared for that. The mosquitoes out here are real. This should be called Chuck Mosquito Trail or or or, or Mosquito Linen Park. They're, they're out here for real, man. They, they're waiting. They're waiting for you. They, they're waiting for you. You come out here and they will greet you at the park um, immediately. So just be prepared for that. Second thing I didn't like, um, I don't know if it's because of the hurricane, the storm, the high winds that just recently happened, but there's a lot of brush out here. I mean, I'm running into weeds, I'm running into thorn bushes, I'm running into palm trees, I'm running into pine trees, I'm running into just tall grass, I'm running into dead, palm leaves I'm, I'm running into everything out here it, it's just it needs a little bit more maintaining um, some of the grass definitely needs to be cut it's it's a tight trail and so and it's one way but it, it, it's just like it's it's just stuff hitting you from all angles everywhere so it just needs it needs a little bit of maintenance out here to it um, I'm sure the guys work hard out here to keep it to keep it clean as best as they can but it looks like someone hasn't been out here in a while or maybe we just had so much rain this stuff is just shot up but it has a lot of debris and it has a lot of just um bushes trees leaves grass everything you name it shrubbery that's gonna that's gonna hit you while you're riding because you can catch some speed on this trail you can go pretty fast on it but you got things hitting you from left and right uh so that that it just needs a little bit of maintenance it's not the major but it definitely needs a little bit of maintenance other than that i think it's a pretty cool trail i would definitely come out to it again next time next time i'll definitely check and make sure that um the other trails of it are open before i do it again so anyway guys that's about it i know this video is probably already too long and um hey i hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe comment if you have any comments um I, i've been really busy with work man i'm really trying to put out as much content as I can. I wanna do at least one video, maybe even two per week, but it's really hard. It's really, really hard um, with, with just my schedule and everything. So doing the best that I can, guys. 
And again, if you have any comments about GoPro editing software that you don't have to use a third party to convert the video over, please let me know. And no, the GoPro software doesn't work. You can only make like a 30 second video. That that isn't gonna, I, I need more time than that. So that isn't gonna work, so. But hey, appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next show. Be safe out there. Peace.